What's up everybody? Today's video, I would like to specifically talk about Lentor Mansion. The reason why I want to do this is because over the past couple of days during the preview of Lentor Mansion, I actually received a lot of comments from buyers and viewers that the units at Lentor Mansion are much smaller than anywhere else. Okay. So why is this happening at Lentor Mansion? For those of you who are not in the know, Lentor Mansion is actually the first project that is under the new harmonization of floor space ruling. So the areas that impact buyers where the unit size are concerned is basically for Lentor Mansion, the aircon latch is no longer part of the square feet of the house. That is why the space internally, they are still the same, but with the exclusion of this aircon latch, it causes the whole square foot, the floor space to be reduced accordingly. So here I have an example to show you. On the right, we have Lentor Mansion, and on the left, we have a project which is not under the harmonization rule. I am going to give example based on two and three bedrooms because these two unit types are the most commonly purchased units in new launches in Singapore nowadays. If you realize the floor plan on Lentor Mansion, a two bed, two bath is actually 657 square feet. Whereas the unit on the other side, which is another unit, is around 700 square feet. So the difference between these two is basically, as I have indicated there, the aircon latch has been excluded in the calculation. So as a guideline, a two bedroom aircon latch is usually between three to four square meters in size, which translates to about 32 to about 43 square feet. Whereas for a three bedroom, which I'm flashing out over here now, the unit at Lentor Mansion, despite it being a three bed plus flexi unit, it's only 904, 904 square feet in size. Whereas a comparable unit, somewhat similar, is around 969 or 958, so in the mid to high 900 square feet. And the difference again is due to the lack of the aircon latch. For a three bedroom, an aircon latch size is typically between five to six square meters. That's about 54 square feet to about 65 square feet. Okay, you may be wondering why developers are excluding the aircon latch from the unit calculation. That is because based on the old regulation, when the aircon latch is part of the space, so developer have this so-called hack, whereby the aircon latch is actually free gross floor area or GFA to developers to build. So they are not charged for that uh, space, but they can sell to people like yourself, buyers at full price. Hence that part of the house is in a way a maximum profit for them. Okay, Based on the new regulation, any space that they need, they want to sell to buyers needs to have a cost attached to it, means it's going to be part of the GFA. Hence, at Lentor Mansion, you will see uh, aircon latch being excluded because uh, it's no longer free for them to sell to you, uh, free in terms of cost to them, and they can sell to you at uh, you know, uh, 2000 or whatever dollars per square foot, right? So they have excluded that from the GFA in that sense. Similarly, for high ceiling units, typically you will see the top floor units or AKA in the, in the modern ages called the penthouse units. But we don't call that officially penthouses. They call, we call it the top floor units. Usually you will find high ceiling, uh, five meters, six meters ceiling height, whereby the square footage is actually uh, bigger than the regular unit, which is right below them. That is where the airspace comes into play. The airspace is sold to buyers at a price. Okay. And that space is actually cost free to developers. So that is the reason why they built all this high ceiling. But in the harmonization era, which is beginning now, um, this space is no longer free for them. Hence, moving forward, I don't think we will see a lot of high ceiling units, if any. Okay, so that is a very quick video to explain why Lentor Modern, sorry, Lentor Mansion units are smaller in terms of square footage compared to any other new launches that you can find in the market currently and moving forward this trend will continue so from henceforth from now onwards you, you can expect to see 
new launches you need to be smaller in square feet however let me just emphasize this again the internal space is still going to be the same okay I hope this clarifies all doubts that you have regarding the difference in sizes. So if you have any intention of exploring Lantor as an investment or as a place you may want to call home due to the fact that it is within a uh, good distance, one kilometer to good schools and within the mall, walking distance to the mall and the MRT station, feel free to contact me at 9100-5853 to have a detailed analysis and explanation on why Lantor could potentially be a good place for you to stay in. With this video, I would also like to announce that I am actually coming up with a new service whereby buyers like yourself, you have your friends or relatives who are agents and you would like to give your business to them. But however, you want a second opinion on the whole recommendation. So I am happy to provide a paid service whereby you pay me consultancy fees, I will give you an analysis of the projects that uh, they have shortlisted for you and maybe in an area which you wish to purchase uh, with no strings attached okay you can after getting my uh, opinion continue to let your friend or relative agent to serve you in the selling or purchase so I hope this in a way add value adds to the whole real estate market and if you are keen again to engage me in this consultancy service do feel free to contact me at 9100 uh, Of course, a uh, pre-appointment is required, so I will need uh, details of what you are looking at, and I will need a couple of days to look into the data before I can give you a proper analysis and on, on this matter. Okay, so that's all for now. Hope to see you guys very soon, either in my consultancy service or in the showback. Bye.